for a new tripod. Oh! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cook with me. I am making some plant-based stuffed bell peppers that I talked about making in my grocery haul. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. Um, but other than that, ingredients are pretty simple. Meal shouldn't take very long. Cook a few things on the stove, pop them into the oven, and say, oh, I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> I'm talking with my hands. Okay, but yeah, so we're gonna just get right into it. I'm gonna just start. Okay, so here are all of the ingredients you'll need. I'm gonna start with some chopped onion, get that going in the pan with some butter. And then for my meat base, I'm gonna be using creamy mushrooms. And of course, the main ingredient, your bell peppers. Um, I personally have my personal chef, aka Bay, cook my veggies for me while I was in my last class for the day. Um, so I cut them lengthwise, because they're a little bit easier to eat when they're, I mean, yeah, I cut in half this way, so just cut in half and then cut it in fourths. And then you're going to need some either fresh or canned diced tomatoes. And you're going to need some tomato sauce. Since I'm going to be mixing my uh, my grain, I'm going to use half a bag of this one. And then, okay, maybe I'll need, I might use both. Actually, well, because you have a piece of wool. Now, I don't want to use one of that Four and four. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use both both halves. So let's use cooking. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start. I guess this would be about a tablespoon of butter. Gonna start with our onions. This is probably like roughly like a cup, I believe, of onions. Uh, thinly diced. And we're gonna season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. I just turn my oven on to 350. Some people will um, pre-cook their bell peppers so they can be a little bit soft. I'm just like the one pot chef and so I like to do everything all at once. So my onions are a little bit translucent so I'm going to go ahead and add in my mushrooms. And I am not chopping mine, but of course you can chop yours if you would like. There's one more onion, I mean, <laughs> onion. <laughs> one more mushroom in there. And so 
sometimes what I'll do once they start cooking down is they're like a little bit easier to break down if you want. But they will shrink in size. Just gonna mix that in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season my onions and mushrooms like you would your meat. I might need to add in a little bit more butter but we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna go in with a little paprika. Trader Joe's everyday seasoning. This is like one of my favorite seasonings. I put this on everything, literally. If I'm cooking that day, I'm using it. I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. Then I'm going to do a little bit of the 21 seasoning salute. And I just added a little water because I didn't want I didn't want um everything to start getting stuck to the pan. So as you can see, everything is cooking down nicely. I'm gonna cook this for about three to five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add in my grain or rice mixture. I think I am going to just do half a bag of each. I'm going to do the whole, whole thing. There wasn't that much love. I just should have used my larger skillet. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed in. Make some room for our other mixture. And then I'm gonna turn my fire back up and add just a little water to get everything steamed. All right, so I've added a little bit of water. I'm gonna let this cook down for about five, five minutes or so. 
and then I will add in the tomatoes. Alright, this is smelling so good. I went ahead and diced up some more tomatoes. I did I diced up two small tomatoes. So as you can see. down just a couple more minutes. Let me let this cook down just a couple more minutes. Let those tomatoes cook down a little bit. And then we'll get ready to stuff and put these in the oven. Super exciting. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at the beautiful color. So we have a mixture of veggies and grains. Lots of healthy stuff in here. And they're gonna stuff it into a vegetable. So, like I said in my last video, I'm working on getting in more vegetables and fruit and just being more nutrient conscious. So, plant-based meals are the best way to go. Like I said, I'm not cutting anything out. I'm not really restricting anything. I'm just focusing on healthier eating. So this is actually my first time making this version of this. I've done stuffed bell peppers with cauliflower, meat base, dirty rice, stuffed cauliflower, I mean stuffed bell pepper. So there's all kinds of different ways to do this, but I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. So I'm gonna let this cook down just a few more minutes and I'm going to cover it with just a little bit of my tomato sauce because in the rest I will just cover the bell peppers as they cook in the oven. So I'll show you that process. I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, I have my oven preheated to 350. I have my beautiful bell peppers arranged here in the pan. And whoops, I bring my sauce a little bit closer. Or stuffing rather. And I'm going to just take a scoop and place it right inside. Now since these are plant-based, I'm not going to use any cheese, but I do have some nutritional yeast. Wow, well, I should have had that light on the whole time, but I got some nutritional yeast. So I'm just going to sprinkle this a little bit on top for like an added cheese flavor. Alright, and now these are going to go into the oven 
for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on how soft you want your bell pepper. If you want it very, very soft, leave them in for a longer time. Fresh out the oven. All nice and pretty. Still bubbling a little. So we let these set. We're gonna plate. I also warmed um, the chicken parmesan that I got from Trader Joe's in the oven. So we're gonna have that and stuffed peppers. Oh yeah, look at the smoke. And here is the final product. So I have half a piece of the chicken parm, stuffed bell pepper, and to make it fancy, just sprinkled a little basil on top. Thank you, Bay, for the suggestion. And that is our plate. And bon appetit. All right, I'm gonna kill this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. The filling is amazing bell pepper, piece of chicken. This is a nice plant-based meal. Plant-based is mainly vegetables. And that's what we have on this side, is mainly vegetables. And then I have some protein, because you know you need protein for your gains. It doesn't have to be animal-based protein, but you do need protein for your gains. Anyways, I digress. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.